Hi, and welcome to my crisis. Hello and welcome to my channel, and if you recognize that famous phrase, that is actually the very first thing I said in my very first YouTube video, which was actually one year ago yesterday. So today when you're watching this, it is going to be the 28th, and my very first YouTube video was uploaded on the 27th of September 2019. So happy birthday to this channel slash happy anniversary to the first video I ever made. I basically wanted to make a video kind of reacting to what I had said in my first video. We can compare some things that have changed, some things that have stayed the same, where I thought my channel would be in this year. So my very first video, it was six minutes and one second long. And it is called a hi, I'm having a crisis slash get to know me. And that was the beginning of this Mitch Rimmer channel. I remember I was speaking to my boyfriend and I said to him, I don't even remember what the idea was because obviously I didn't make it because it's not on my channel. And I said to him, oh my God, imagine if someone made a video where they did this and they did this and they did this. And Cal was like, do it then like why don't you do it why don't you be that person to make it and i was like oh i don't know i don't know maybe not i'm i don't think so and cal was like i think you should give it a go and so i did so the first video on my channel i actually remember it so well we're in the exact same setup a year later in my living room on this sofa i remember i set up the camera and i had a few notes on my laptop about kind of topics i wanted to talk about and just to give me kind of a, I don't know, an idea of what I was doing because I had never done it before and I had no idea what to talk about. And I mean, a year later, that still is the case. I mean, I just ramble about everything and anything. And I remember I filmed that video twice because the first time I looked back at it, I put the SD card in my laptop and I hated it. I just hated it. I don't know what was up. I think it was just the camera angle was really weird and I was very self-conscious about how I looked like and I was like, oh, I hate it, I hate it, I have to do it again. So I did it again and I was like, oh, do you know what? Yeah, that's okay, I think that's all right. And then I edited it and then I uploaded it. I think that this video is actually the most viewed video on my channel, which I guess makes sense because it was like the first one and there was like, you know, there's a bit of excitement there, but I still can't believe it. Like sometimes when I look at it and I'm like, whoa, like over 20,000 people watch that. That's pretty crazy. And I was so scared. I don't know why I was so scared. I think the internet is quite a scary place. I remember saying to Cal, I just have no idea where I wanted my channel to go. I didn't know what kind of content I wanted to do. I said to Cal, like I want to make a channel where I can just do whatever I want to do and make it fun because obviously if I'm not having fun then I don't know will everyone else have fun will it look too fake you know I don't want to put my time and effort into something that I'm not enjoying I wrote down a load of ideas and I was like okay how about I do we do crafting things and we can do gaming things and we can do like other stuff cooking and that is where it is a year later I stuck by it and I know obviously with YouTube, like some videos are gonna do better than others and some aren't gonna do very well at all. And that's just how it is. I know that some videos on this channel have done incredibly well and I know some haven't done that great, but I'm still really happy and I'm really proud of them because I stuck to my guns that I wanted to make content that I enjoyed making. So in my first video, I kind of explained what I had been doing up until the time of recording that video and I had graduated. I had graduated from uni and I was unemployed and I wanted to do YouTube as a hobby and it's so- oh my god I'm getting really emotional. I don't know why. I think I've come really far. I remember seeing this same comment I think it was around like three times and someone had like said that I'd really come out of my shell on camera. They had said that I was a bit more like comfortable in front of the camera and I kind of like looked as though I knew what I was doing. And it's crazy because yeah, I was super awkward. I was kind of just rambling on about things about me that could be of interest. In my first video, I was talking about how after graduation, it's like a really rocky boat and it's really hard to find jobs because with the rise of, what did I say, with the rise of? I don't want to misquote myself. With, with the, the rise, rise of graduates, graduates comes to decline in jobs. So that's what I said and I found some statistics about it and I'm in the same boat. So in that video I was like oh all my fellow graduates are in the same kind of rocky boat and I quickly drew up this picture on like some dodgy paint website which looked like this and you know what? I think my drawing of a boat is more relevant than it ever was, especially now in 2020 with everything happening, so much uncertainty, so much stress, unemployment, responsibilities, change. Life 
it's hard. Life is very hard. And the only thing that kept me going was thinking about what kind of content I wanted to make and making videos. So for those of you who have followed this channel from the very, very beginning, you may know that I took a very big break. And because I took so many breaks, that's where the whole I'll see you when I see you became kind of like a meme on the channel because it was like, well, you'll see me when you see me because I actually don't know when I'm going to upload. And the reason why I took these breaks was because I was very upset with myself. I put a lot of pressure on myself to find a job. During that time, I was also very, very homesick. I wanted to go back so badly. I'd also gained a lot of weight and I wasn't happy with myself and I wasn't happy with myself in front of the camera and I wasn't happy when I was like editing because I didn't like the way I looked. I wasn't happy with myself. But a year later, I'm very happy with myself and I'm not in the same mental state as I was a year ago. And so that's when I decided to stop taking breaks and upload at a more regular schedule. So Monday at 8.30 p.m. every week. And that's when we started to have Mitch Mondays. I honestly cannot believe that we're at 11k. I know I say it every single time, but I can't believe it. I can't even believe the milestone that I've achieved. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm really proud that I stuck it through. I have like 11,000 new friends. In terms of YouTube, I never really watched anyone and thought like, oh, they make my day or, oh, they're like my role model. Or when I feel sad, like I'll go to their videos. I never like had that. And so when I see comments where people are like, you've really made my day, you're such a role model to me, I was feeling sad and I watched this video and it made me feel happy. That's so insane. To me that is so insane that I could be that to someone. It means so much to me that I could impact people's lives and make their day better. It's like the best feeling ever. I love replying to all the comments. I love seeing what people have to say. I love getting to know you guys. If you don't know, my DMs are always open. So on Instagram, I don't have like a private thing on there. So when people send me messages about liking my videos or that they've watched my videos or they tag me in these incredible edits, honestly guys, I have some of the best edits I've ever seen on Instagram. Like when I see you guys tag me in these edits, like I wish I could make things like that. They're so creative. They always have amazing songs with them. They're so good. And honestly, thank you guys. Like, it's so crazy. It's honestly a dream come true. A dream I never thought I wanted, if that makes sense. I didn't think that this would be something of interest in my life. You know, I didn't think I'd be into making videos on YouTube and stuff, but I love it. As you guys know, I always try and make my channel as positive as possible, as honest as possible. I'm so thankful to have such a wonderful community by my side. You guys are honestly the best. I remember seeing a comment one time and someone was like, this is the nicest community community I've ever seen like everyone in the comment section is so lovely and yeah I was so grateful for that yes there's obviously the odd person that'll say something horrible or it'll go into my spam and it, it's just like a really mean comment but that's like one person out of so many and it makes me so happy to see that other people who are looking to subscribe and be a part of this community can see how lovely you guys really are and I appreciate that so much like your comments are so lovely like so lovely and so positive and it makes me so happy to know that you guys are happy with what's happening on the channel I'm happy it's like a really nice thing where like we're all in this cycle where we're all happy I think that's what it is I think we're all just looking for a really nice comment section to hang out in, talk to people, make friends. I've seen so many other comment sections that are so toxic and they're full of awful comments and I don't see why people do it. And I'm glad that no one here does it. So happy birthday to this channel. Happy anniversary to the first video I ever made. Thank you to everyone who has stuck around from the very beginning. Thank you to everyone who has joined in the meantime. It doesn't matter if you have subscribed from the beginning or today or yesterday or or a couple months ago. Everyone is always welcome, so thank you so much, everyone. It's amazing. I really am forever grateful and forever thankful for every single one of you, so thank you so much. And before I get even more emotional, I just wanna say, if you have an idea and you wanna make a channel, do it. It doesn't matter if you have a million views or two views, 200 views. If you can make someone's day, that is the most important thing that you can take away from that. And that's why I love doing what I do. So it has been an incredible year for the channel. It's crazy to see how far we've come. I'm 
still amazed about it every single day that I open my phone or my laptop. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited to see where the next year takes us. I hope we can all enjoy the journey together. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.